sometimes the world just passes you by. I feel like I'm not up to date on all these hot new crazes. Crazes like, you know, planking, remember that, or fidget spinning, the fork knife, um, of course, rock and roll music, um, mud guzzling, cronk shooting, pork gorbling. Uh, I don't know what any of those things are. Anyway, this week, we play video games that other people love, but we, for some reason, just never got around to playing. And I guess we have a semi-secondary theme? Games made by Ed McMillan? I don't know. Anyway, Cody spreads his meat juices everywhere, which is how he got banned from the movie theater, so he really should know better, in Super Meat Boy. And just like my mom did the day I was born, I push a fetus through a cave into a terrible basement full of spiders in The Binding of Isaac. All this and Donkey Kong. Is he a real donkey? No. Anyway, that's the end of journalism and cartridge blowers. It's Cartridge Blowers, episode 132, Meat Parkour. Meat Parkour? Like, anyway, I, I just, I feel like... It's so hard to keep up with the Joneses, you know? There's so many fads, and I just cannot keep up with them. Fads like gerbil scooping, uh, farmer refuting, pop tarting, snow riding, onion seeping, show fading, show fading. Y-N-I-N's Cartridge Blower! Starring Cody Coleman, Nikki Wright, Matt Krua, and no one else. Cartridge Blowers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to YNIN's Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. I'm Cody Coleman. With me, as always, is Matt Krua. First and last. Me, finally! Forever! Did you did. did. You killed did. Nikki and shoved her in a little box in the huh. corner of the screen, and here you are, alive and well. Is she in a box? Can I see her? Is she uh, sure, yeah. Just okay. You're looking down at her right now, I think. I am? Okay. That's where I have the box. All right. Cool. I like it. I like yeah. that she's in the box. I did it. I finally um, completed my real life Sims game. <laughs> Amber will be so pleased with you. Yeah, no. Um, I actually did pretty okay at first. Um, I went to my mom's house and I sealed her behind some bricks. Uh, <laughs> and, and that was pretty good. And uh, now Nikki, of course, steals in the box. So it's, it's all working out. Yeah. Everything's coming up, Matt. It is. Absolutely. Unfortunately, uh, I normally would have introduced Nikki. She's not going to be with us today. It's just going to be the two of us. Uh, it's, it's just... Uh, testosterone city we the, finally, the manliest of men finally <laughs> some straight white males here to tell you about video games on the internet it's absolutely never happened before it's about time it never honestly again, you know it's a market <laughs> a niche market that finally is being catered to and i'm, I'm just glad Excellent. Right on. Uh, well, uh, this is the show where in the second half we uh, play video games based around a theme. This week, uh, the theme is going to be video games everyone else played, but we missed for some other reason. We don't know. Just for some reason, we never picked it up and played it. <laughs> There's no way for us to find out. It's a mystery. Yeah. Uh, we have psychic blocks in our head. Let's we'll, stop us. We'll have to talk to past us, and right now... Uh, Past They're telephone, yeah, it's not it's not working. They they have their their voicemail up. They're out to work signs. It's we were very busy in the what past. What are you talking about? I don't I don't fuck if I know. Anyway, bit died, the bit died. It's over. It, yeah, it's it's fine. Damn so hard, anyway. Hard. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube, as you can every other Thursday uh, on YouTube.com slash YNINpod, uh, you can skip ahead to that part right now if you want to by clicking mm -hmm. on the timestamp in the description below. However, it's down there. just right down there, right, right in the old clicky clacky spot that Matt's pointing to. But if you are watching us live, as you can every other Friday uh, mm -hmm. on Twitch.tv slash Cartridge Blowers, 
we're just gonna keep talking and uh, you're a hostage so I'm sorry but uh, if you would like a visual representation where to go popping up in the corner right there uh, that, was, that was a little fast let's let's do that uh, let's do that again why do, why don't we do that again there we are look yeah, oh, man. Really cool. it's magic I liked it the second time the first time was not good enough no it was it dude hey, hold on, can you do me a favor yeah sure do it a third time but make it last even longer okay there it is. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and uh -oh. it's gone. It's gone. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, that, no, I, that was perfect. That was the exact <sighs> amount of time that I wanted. Yep. I am really happy for us. I think we finally made it. Me too, guys. I am yeah. very happy for us too. Also, uh, you can visit our our webpage at yninteractive.com. Brand Ooh. new, redesigned. Everything looks so much better than it did before. Also, we finally got into the modern times and have a mobile responsive site. Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? It means you can you can watch it on your phone, and yeah. it'll look pretty decent on your phone. Before it was just like, it was just the desktop website loaded, and it was different. very not very good. Got <laughs> it, was, it. it was bad. All right. So anyway, before we get on to all that playing a video game shit, uh, we probably played <laughs> some stuff in like the two, three weeks that we've uh, we've been yeah, absent. Man. Matt, what'd you play? I have played many a video game. Um, yeah. So uh, of course, um, quick plug: we've been streaming over on twitchtv Uh Super Mario Brothers Three Randomizer, uh, yeah. and Final Fantasy X. Those two games have kind of been alternating back and forth, uh, streaming those two. Um, so if you want to know how those are going, please come on and subscribe. Or just at least follow the Switch channel. Um, but as for other things I've been playing, uh, I think I talked about this last time. I've been playing Marvel Strike Force. Oh, yeah. How's that going? Is it still good? good? I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, it's a fun game. Um, I have gotten to the point where... I have made a pretty decent team of characters that uh, can take me pretty far uh, into the different story modes and the raids and whatnot. And so I'm um, I'm finding progression to be pretty pretty approachable without having to pay money. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I downloaded it. I have not played it yet. Sure, so, yeah, no problem. It's, it's sitting on my phone. I'm gonna get around to it at some point. But uh, yeah, I mean it, it. It looks decent at the very it's not least. Bad. Like um, again, I, I compare it to Avengers Alliance from about four or five years ago, um, which I thought was a really fun game. And if you enjoy turn-based kind of RPG battles, then that's just pretty much the same thing. So it is turn. It's not like those ones where they kind of fight for you and you don't really no, do anything. No, it's one hundred percent turn-based combat. That's cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so right now I'm using a team, uh, I mean, you can switch at any time between battles, but the team I normally stick with, I've got Drax, Gamora, uh, Nebula, so I've got a very Yondu, Guardians-focused team. Nice! And then, uh, who's the last one? Quake. Oh, cool. Right yeah. on. Yeah. She has a slow ability that makes fights super easy. She's great. Nice. Cool. Uh, what else have you been playing? I have also picked up... Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Nintendo Switch. Cool. Um, so this is, I guess, the second game I have now rebought for the Switch that I also had on the Wii U. But you never um, completed it the first time around. Definitely not. No, yeah. I did not finish it. Uh, I'm probably right now at about the point in the game where I stopped playing the Wii U version. Okay. Um, I'm playing in funky mode. Okay. So you're you're playing the easier mode that has everybody. Well, okay, so it says it's easier mode. I mean, I guess. Um, I find it to be less easy mode and more just more fun mode. Okay. Um, because there's still a challenge to the game. It's still a challenging, you know, uh, platformer. But I have all these cool abilities, and I can do all of them at any time. And I don't feel hampered at all. I just feel kind of... I feel more powerful, but not ultra powerful, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, there is kind of the, uh, whatever, what did Mario 3D World call it? I don't remember, but if I die enough times on a level, it'll say, you can just press a button and go on to the next one if you want, pal. 
Oh um, yeah, yeah. The uh, like in New Super Mario Brothers, it was just like, hey, do you want us to tell Mario? you how to do it? And then like in all the ones after that, they just gave you a P wing. To right, where you're pretty much right. invincible. Yeah. Um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Return, uh, Tropical uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns Tropical Freeze, uh, just says you can go on to the next level if you press a button, but you won't keep any of your collectibles. So the puzzle pieces and the Kong letters uh, get lost. So I haven't used I, I haven't used that feature, and I don't plan to. Um, but it is a very fun game. Nice. Um, it's certainly prettier than it was on the Wii U. Uh, and I've been playing it mostly handheld, but when I haven't been, someone, what is happening? Are you, are you running a, uh, no, like, the, short, uh, short our, 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 uh, our clothes dryer that I really hate is going off in the background and won't your stop until Brooke dryer. goes in there and opens it up. So. Why is your clothes dryer I, like a cash register? I don't know. It's the, I hate the the way it alerts you it's to your nightmare. clothes being done. It really sucks. It, it is incessant. It, it's Ours bad. just plays a fun song. No, yeah, no, yours is fine. I've, I've yeah. seen yours. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, this is great video game talk. Sure, yeah, tropical <laughs> freeze. Um, it's it's uh, so I've been playing handheld. I haven't really been able to listen to music most of the time, but when I have been, uh, the soundtrack is still just stellar. Nice. Um, so, like in uh, in this one, I, I do you play as Donkey Kong with Funky Kong as an assist, or do you play as Funky Kong and you just have like multiple hits or something? So Funky Kong is a selectable character along with the ones from the previous. Wii U version, Donkey Diddy, uh, Dixie, and uh, Cranky. Okay, so he's so you essentially just... a fifth player. Okay, interesting. A fifth character, and uh, you can still use him in normal co-op, um, and the other player can be any of the other four characters. Okay. Um, and I, I, does Funky have more hearts? I don't remember how many that was like, had in the Wii. I version. think two. Okay. Okay. Then he definitely has more. Uh, he has at least three, maybe four. Okay. Um, but I mean, like, again, I don't. It seems like the perfect level of challenge for me. I guess maybe maybe I just suck. But well, no, like Tropical Freeze was hard. Like it 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 was not easy at all. So uh, making it slightly easier with Funky Kong would probably make it the perfect level of difficulty. Sure, yeah. and, and, and like it's only I would say only slightly easier then because. Um, Again, I don't feel like I'm being handheld through the game. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, there's still a challenge. Um, I you, you haven't unlocked hard mode yet. So. I haven't. <laughs> um, like, I, there there are certain levels where I'm finding it difficult to get all the Kong letters or all the puzzle pieces. Um, and, I mean, I guess it's easy in that I have 99 lives, and I pretty much always do, because there's yeah. just... So many lives to collect and so many bananas, but um, I feel like I had that same problem in uh, in the original Wii U right. version. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't know. It's a fun game. It's a cool. really good Donkey Kong. It's a good platformer. I have gone on record of saying I was never the biggest DKC fan on Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. They're okay in my book, um, but I like this one like quite a bit, and I'm definitely going to finish it. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I liked the original Donkey Kong Countries. Mm -hmm. uh, well, at least the first two. The third one was okay. Um, sure. But uh, I do like Tropical Freeze the best, uh, at least the Wii U version that I played. Uh, I'm sure the Switch version's better. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Cool. What else? And then uh, I would say last, but certainly not least, uh, I have dicked around in Stardew Valley Multiplayer. Oh yeah! All right, so, uh, so we we haven't got to play that together yet um, together, on, on the yeah. stream uh, with with uh, our good friend Amber who's in chat right now. But um, we're gonna at some point. But you've been playing with your roommates, right? Sure. Yeah. So um, we have done two separate instances. Um, one wherein we joined um, one of my roommates' farms. Uh, her farm was seven years old, and she had so much money and so many things already going on. And then our second instance, we started from scratch. Okay. So which has I, been more fun? The latter, for sure. Yeah. Um, I think at the end of the day, I didn't really enjoy myself in multiplayer at all with an established farm. Yeah. Um, I found myself bored. I found myself um, with very little to do. Trolling um, your friends. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did the whole time. And I mean, that, and that's funny for, you know, about 10 minutes, but it's not a game. Right. Yeah. Um, whereas starting a farm from scratch, 
kind of felt like we were actually a team. It felt more like a co-op experience. Cool. Right? All right. And so um, when you set up a farm, you first get to choose uh, whether you want to build the cabins later or have the cabins already set up. Uh, and the cabins are where the other players live because it's still one person's farm, right? Yeah. Um, the cabins can either be really close to that farm or spread out along the entire map. Um, we chose spread out, which I kind of like because um, my cabin is near the bottom of the map, so I can exit down to the forest like okay. right away. Um, because I'm not fo- my my character. Um, I'm the fishing guy. I do all the fishing. I take care of all the fish. I pretty much spend my entire day fishing. It's nice because they go to the mines. I can sit here, fish, and like browse Twitter at the same time. It's great. Because <laughs> it's not Stardew, right? It's 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 a chill out game. Yeah, and like fishing to me is one of my favorite activities to do in the game because there's not much to it, but it's also fun while I'm doing it. Even if it's something small, you know, I'm just tapping a button basically. Um, and while I'm waiting for the fish to bite, I can just play on my phone or something. Um, but you also, when you start, you have the opportunity to change, I guess we'll say difficulty. Okay. Um, you change the, the uh, money that you gain for selling items. So 100% is normal, or you can go down to 75, 50, or 25% of the total value. Okay. Um, this is because if you've got three to four people working, and you're selling it for the same value you would in the single player game, you're gonna just steamroll everything. Understandable, right? okay. So we turned it down to 75, and I think that's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, because we were like maybe two and a half, three weeks in. Um, we've upgraded a couple tools here and there. Um, we've got crops going, we've got a pretty good rhythm to it. Um, and we're not, we're not like, completely demolishing it but we feel like we're I, I feel like we're moving at a pretty good pace okay um, cool so yes. like do you get split farming duties or uh i mean we do but i mean you don't have to when you play the game right that's what we've chosen to do yeah um like i have a couple of crops outside of my cabin but joe for the most part takes care of most of the crops okay um and then he and aaron go and they mine all day um meanwhile i i do fishing bb does animals um and so it's it's a whole thing and so you know if we were to play together we could do something like that or we could all just sort of pitch in with whatever we see it, it's really up to the players right right on um and the cool thing is you know there's still individual activities for you to do outside of the collective aspect um you still need to meet everybody on the farm you still need to get your relationship meters up uh and that's that's you individually you have those meters um, even though the group shares money, right? Um, but like, if you can still marry someone in the town, or I guess you could marry a, another player if you want to be weird. <laughs> weird. Um, <laughs> well, you are playing with a husband and wife. Still weird. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, so here's a question that I had. I thought about. Sure. What if? You all court the same person and all uh, give them the girlfriend or wedding thing on the same day. That is a super good question, and I am hoping we'll find out because Joe and I are definitely competing for the same person. Oh, awesome! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once he, once I stated, yeah, I think we're going to try and marry Abigail. Joe was like, I think I'm also going to try and marry Abigail. Like, cool, cool. Let's, let's do this shit. <laughs> All right, cool. I, um, I, I I'm interested to see how your love triangle goes. Yeah, it's it's you know it's Stardew Valley. It's a fun game. Um, the multiplayer is still technically in beta, and uh-huh. have experienced a few bugs here and there. Um, some of them were not so cool, like that will desync you and crash the game. Yeah. Um, we did lose a day one time to that. Um, but also some bugs are funny, like when we did the seven year farm. Uh, we all had horses because Aaron had enough money to just buy us all stables right away. And there's a bug where your horse follows you around when you're on foot. Really? Like it's, like it's magnetically attracted to you. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> um, there's also bugs like uh, if one person initiates a cutscene, everyone has to watch it. Oh, no. 
it sucks. It's the worst. And like sometimes that cutscene will teleport you to it, and sometimes it won't. So I'm down, you know, fishing, and then suddenly I'm in the shop. Uh, and, uh, uh, I'm like, no, I need to no, I need to be fishing. I'm gonna miss the opportunity. Oh, fine. Um, I had an angler fish. No, right, exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's Stardew Valley, but with more people. And right on. What's not to love? Excellent. I also recommend um, the game. It has text chat. Okay. Discord. Discord's the way to go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. imagine that's the way we will do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Uh, for a while, Joe didn't really have a microphone. And uh, so he was using text chat. And it was pretty horrid. I... It sucked. <laughs> like, he could hear me through Discord, but he would take like 10 seconds to respond. And it, it was bad. So just get a mic if you want to play yeah, that game. Yeah, absolutely. Or most games. It's 2018. Come on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, unless you're playing uh, with randos, in which case, that's uh, usually terrible. That's not really a thing you can do in Stardew, though. Thankfully. Fantastic. Yeah. No I like option. that. Cool. Uh, anything else? That's it for me. What have right. you been playing, Cody? So uh, I've mostly been playing um, uh, Shovel Knight. Uh, uh -huh. I, I actually brought my Switch with me up to uh, Florida while I was on vacation. And uh, my sister-in-law enjoyed watching me play Shovel Knight and, and getting really mad when I would die and not pick up the money <laughs> on the way back. Did so, you bring the dock, too? Uh, I'm sorry, what? You yeah, I, I, I have a travel dock now. I found one oh, okay. uh, at Best Buy for like 20 bucks. Is it the Hori one? It's uh, the Insignia one, the Best Buy brand. Okay. And it was fine. Right. Uh, so I, I made sure to read that it was not one of the ones that brick your Switch. Sure. So, yeah. So uh, I've been playing a lot of that. That game's great. Uh, really enjoying it. Um, also... Went to Toys R Us because uh, I heard from uh, my good friend Matt here that Toys R Us had 30% off Switch games. So uh, I went, and on the day that I went, they also had an additional 20% off on that day only. So I picked up the only game they had that was not shit, uh, potentially, and that was uh, Doom for the Switch. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Whoa, cool. Yeah, yeah. So I've been playing uh, that a little bit, too. And, uh, man, that game, uh, the port is impressive. Yeah, uh, I've been told. Yeah, it's graphically uh, very impressive for the Switch. I can definitely see where they have done things to try to uh, limit what they need to render in mm -hmm. order to uh, still make it look and appear very impressive. Like, I can kind of tell that that's what they're doing. Uh, but it works. And uh, as far as Doom is concerned, um, like, it is definitely leaps and bounds the best one in the entire franchise uh not sure. that that was super hard to do because doom <laughs> did not really age, age well, well. Mm -hmm. uh but this one uh is really fun uh the, i i enjoy the upgrading your weapon system they added uh the uh needlessly violent um sort of punch to get uh to get health thing is kind of a neat uh, way to ensure that you can get health um, it seemed a, it seemed a little frat boy gimmicky to me uh, but it was still uh, it was still fun uh, and the the levels are well made uh, the enemies are much more interesting looking than they were before uh, so yeah um, uh, doom for the switch uh, very good uh, definitely worth like the 20 bucks I spent on it Hell so, yeah absolutely uh, yeah I, I have wanted to play that at some point, whether on Switch or PC, and I've yet to pick it up. But um, yeah, here's so many good things. Yeah, and that's kind of that was my thing. I'm like, dude, this is so much off. I'm probably never gonna find it new this sure. price, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. I, I pulled up Amazon to see how much I could buy it for, and forty dollars yeah. was the cheapest, and that was used in kind of okay condition. So uh, I'm like, all right, uh, I'm just gonna. I'm going to pick it up new. So, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and other than that, this really all I've been playing. Played some uh, Jackbox um, Party Pack 1. I picked that up so we'd have some new stuff to play on vacation. And we didn't play it till we got back. But uh, <laughs> uh, Drawful, Drawful <clears throat> is fun. You Don't Know Jack is fun. Uh, Fibbage is all right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I guess I have one, one other game I can talk about. Okay, sure. Um. I played Pandemic Legacy Season 2. Oh, yeah. You told me that you, you have been playing it. Have, yeah. How's it been going? So, um, it's great. Um, I want I wanted to talk a little bit about it because I don't want to spoil anything. Okay. But um, all I'll say is it's it takes place in the future. Okay. Where mankind has kind of been relegated to um, living on the sea. 
Okay. The land is uninhabitable, uh, aside from some coastal sort of colonies. Okay. Um, and the gameplay kind of works like reverse pandemic. Interesting. Where, where you are tasked with putting cubes into cities. Interesting. It's really a neat twist. Um, huh. And the world doesn't exist. Most of the board is empty. Wow. Um, and it's a legacy game, so you build it as you go. And that sounds kind of cool. It's really cool, yeah. Um, you don't have to have finished Season 1, though there are definite hints as to the connections to that. Um, hmm. and, but, like, Season 2, it, it's got a, it's, it's, it's a different game, and I'm into it. Cool deal. Yeah. We're um, about a little over halfway through Season 1. Cool. Uh, our our friends that we play with uh, have become less available, uh, sure. so we're not as far ahead as as we probably would prefer. But uh, man, it's it, it's still the season one is so much fun. Uh, I'm I'm real interested to see season. Two. I just love legacy games, and they're a lot of fun. Yeah, they just announced a uh, betrayal at House on the Hill legacy. I saw. Yeah, that sounds really neat. I'm super into. Yeah, it. yeah. So that's, that's board game chat. Thanks right for watching our podcast. Yeah. That podcast. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so um, we have a little bit of time. Why don't we just go over a couple things that are going to be coming sure. out in the next two weeks. So uh, we don't have too much to talk about, uh, but we'll, we'll go over a few things. Matt wanted to make sure that we touch on on May 24th, 2018. We're getting Bloodstain, Curse of the Moon for the Vita, 3DS, Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. Matt? So uh, Bloodstained is a Kickstarter that was made by uh, Koji Igarashi, who is the creator of Castlevania. Okay. Um, and it's a basically... Konami divorced version of Castlevania. He wanted to make a new Castlevania game, but he didn't oh. make Konami because they make pachinko machines now. <laughs> um, and so he made a game called Bloodstain, and that hasn't come out yet. There's some demos. It seems pretty neat. It looks a lot like Symphony of the Night, right? Okay. Um, this Bloodstain. What is it? Curse of the Moon. Uh, you said it's yeah, Curse of the Moon. Yeah. Um. This is what if he made in like sort of eight between eight and sixteen bit Castlevania today. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like a bonus game that came out with the Kickstarter that they worked on in their spare time, and so they decided to just go ahead and release that for every console too. And uh, it looks really neat. And uh, Koji Garashi, unlike uh, Keiji Nifune, the creator of Mega Man. Um, who has kind of just kept flailed since yeah. leaving Capcom. Uh, Igarashi seems to still have it. Cool. And uh, his games look pretty neat. Excellent. Right on. Uh, maybe you can play that for the, the next Perhaps. Halloween stream set. Oh, no. I, I know what I'm doing on Halloween. Oh. I'm, re I'm ready. All right. Matt has yeah. plans. Uh, okay, uh, May 29th, 2018, uh, we got two things that we're going to talk about. Uh, the first being Moonlighter for the PS4, PC, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. And uh, that one is a... Uh, we played a game similar to it on the show before, but basically you are a shopkeep, uh, but you've kind of been forced into it by your parents. Uh, and you never really wanted to be a shopkeep, but you're doing it anyway. Uh, so during the day, you do your chores and you uh, you sell all your items and you stock the store, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what you really want to do is be a hero. So at night, you moonlight by as a as a hero dungeon raider. So you're basically kind of trying to squirrel away money while doing the thing you don't want to do that your parents are forcing you to do, so that okay. you can grow up to be this gigantic hero uh and it's a, kind of a 16-bit style game uh and it's pretty interesting um matt uh you played a shopkeep game where Reciteer. You like yeah. yeah so it sounds kind of like that sounds a lot like Reciteer, yeah um is it does it kind of look like an anime style uh, kind of but it's six it's like okay. if it was on a uh, super nintendo or something sure i mean rest of the years seemed like a destiny s game too yeah um so maybe pause, pause, inspired by maybe rest of yeah because uh, rest of the year is more of a sort of japanese indie hit. yeah um and who's making this uh i i did not write that down i'm not sure 
<clears throat> okay. Sorry. Sure, no problem. Um, so that's a good, that's a decent idea, though. Yeah. I mean, I I dig the idea of a shopkeep game. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, especially if you're not only sitting behind like like mm-hmm. uh, Gobi in, uh, in Breath, Breath of Fire. Fire. <laughs> yeah, I was totally thinking of that. Yeah. That's great. Good so. I, the, which was a really great mechanic that no one else ever did. So yeah, it was right? really cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, also we get uh, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary for the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. Um, which looks kind of like Street Fighter 2. But... Uh, no, no, my friend. No? Okay, no. the screenshot I saw was wrong. So you've got Street Fighter 2. Okay. You've also got Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Okay. You've also got Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. Okay. You also got Street Fighter 2 The New Challengers. Okay. And then you've also got Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, man. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Okay. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Okay. You've also got Street Fighter 3. Okay. You've also got Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. You've also got Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Jesus. You have every single arcade iteration of Street Fighter 2, 3, and Alpha. Okay. And also, I think Street Fighter 1 is there. Oh, man. That's, I've actually never played Street Fighter 1. Don't. It's very bad. And that's what I hear. Yeah. Uh, if, if you ever encounter that in an arcade, yeah. it's definitely worth a look, at least, because um, it has pressure-sensitive buttons. Really? So, like, it responded to your punch strength. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was very bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's uh, got every single Street Fighter um, pre-4, basically. Okay. every Everything before 3D. Right, exactly. Um, and and not the movie. Game. Sadly, you know? Yeah. I, I, don't know what I don't know what they're thinking. Um, but also, I think four of those games are online. Okay. Uh, so you've got Third Strike. That's uh, cool. Alpha 3, Alpha 2. I mean, it might be Alpha 3 and then, like, New Challengers and Turbo. Um, Excellent. But, yeah, so you can play those those games online, and they are arcade perfect. Awesome. So they play exactly like they did in the original arcade. That's cool. Also, there are additional things added, too. So, like, Street Fighter Alpha 3, for instance, is way better on console. Yeah. Because there was all these extra things added. And supposedly they're adding some of those things into this arcade ROM. Okay. Which seems pretty cool. Plus, you've, you've got your normal anniversary collection of art and, you know, bonus yeah, movies yeah. and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's Street Fighter uh, kind of the definitive. Excellent. Right on. Uh, so these are all in, like, in their individual game. They're not, like, smooshed together or anything. Right. No, yeah. no. You select from a menu. Okay. Cool. All right, uh, that's it for May 29th. Uh, and then lastly, June 5th, 2018, we get Shaq Fu, A Legend Reborn for Shaboy the Vita, Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Uh, yeah, th- they finally are releasing Shaq Fu 2. In 3D, it looks like uh, they have like anime opening sequences. Uh, it's a fighting game, but like there's also like a beat-em-up element to some of it. Uh, it-, it looks... Um, I mean, it's fucking Shaq Fu. I don't know what you want. Uh, Shaq, very relevant right now, I guess. Uh, enough to finally release the Shaq uh, Shaquille O'Neal fighting game franchise. I can't believe they're releasing that like the week before E3. Yeah. When they could just wait until after E3 when they built up all that buzz. Oh, absolutely. When people have gone to the floor, they've played Shaq Fu, they've experienced uh, the Shaq Fu, and now they're ready to absolutely absorb the story i i don't know what they're thinking but you know um maybe that's just another mistake no yeah it's on uh, top of a lifetime of shack mistakes <laughs> <laughs> poor shaquille o'neal uh right on so uh yeah uh just want to touch on that real quick that's it that's all we got uh coming out in the in the next time uh, in the next two weeks so why don't we get into playing our Heck video yeah, games dude. all right Uh, so, um, like I said at the beginning of the episode, uh, we're playing games that are uh, games that everyone else seemed to play and really like that we never got around to playing. And, uh, this time we're actually both playing 
slightly newer games that would still fit that category, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think I have myself up first because I had that video first. So uh, <laughs> I'll just go ahead and introduce mine. Uh, I played Super Meat Boy, which is a platformer, uh, old 8-bit style, uh, known for, I believe, being very hard and speed runnable. Uh, it's very obviously kind of made uh, with speed running in mind. And uh, yeah, not too much to say about it. Other than that, you're playing a uh, sentient uh, cube of meat. Uh, a fetus steals your girlfriend, who is uh, sentient bandages, and uh, you're just trying to get her back at every level. So yeah, that's I don't know what to tell you. That's it. Meat. So why don't we just get in to uh, watch me play uh, sentient meat cubes? Yeah, let's let's meet meat. Yeah, let's do it. So, I have never played this either. Yeah? I think I played, like, the Xbox 360 arcade, and I downloaded the demo. Yeah. They heard so many things, and it just didn't click with me. Uh, like, right there, we did just meet the, uh, recreation of the Street Fighter introduction, uh, which I thought was kind of neat. Yeah. So, yeah, so, um, we're... Basically, you saw that some of the levels had been beaten. I had some technical difficulties with the recording, so I have played some of these levels like 15 minutes prior. Uh, but, so you beat the level and by, by touching your girlfriend. And, uh, okay, well. yeah, you can wall jump. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of meat parkour. Sure, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. So, what are the controls like? So, the controls are very typical, you know, platformer. Um, not you just move and jump? Move and jump, essentially. There's no attack. There's no, no anything like that. The is one thing... There a run button? There is a run button. Uh, you hold X to run. And, like, one thing that I never... That, that took me a while to get used to is that uh, whenever you beat the game, it kind of allows you time to decide if you didn't like how well you did and to do it again so it shows you like a replay of all the times that you ran all at once That's pretty neat which is kind of neat uh but i always kind of thought that i was on the next level and started trying to control it <laughs> so uh it was a little a little confusing for a little bit till i got used to that so here we're we're learning about the um d disintegrating blocks uh, a little bit. I mean, it seems like a fairly simple... Yeah. You want to hit the top and then... Yeah, and make sure yeah. you jump off, but don't jump too far away. Sure. So now I'm in hell. Yeah, man, this escalated quickly. Yeah. And you can... Those little sticks on the bottom, those are bandages that you can collect. They're little collectibles in the levels. Okay. Uh, I don't try to get any of them. What do you get uh, if you get all the bandages? See, I don't. I, well, actually, I do know. You uh, unlock the ability to purchase other characters, um, which is kind of neat. But uh, I kind of figured I was only going to be playing for the purposes of the show, so uh, sure. I, didn't, I didn't bother. Uh, I if mean, I, what other characters can you be? Can you be Mario? Uh, no, I think they're just the other fuck? other meat based characters. Like what? I think you can unlock uh, Bandage Holy Girl. Boy. You can unlock the fetus. Uh, the fetus? The fetus villain. Um, and then there's like all these other things to unlock, and I don't know what they are. But uh, yeah, I, I imagine they're just other iterations of, of cube based creatures. Why is the villain a fetus? Uh, I don't know. Uh, and basically, he hates Meat Boy, but we don't really know why. Uh, okay. He says he hates everyone because no one likes him, Weird. but he super hates Meat Boy. So. I don't know why, but here we are trying to not get killed by bus saws, which is basically good Saw advice for life. life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. They do, uh, like right now, it doesn't really look like the super hard game it was uh, made out to be. I'm sure it gets to me, much more difficult. But uh, it does definitely get get uh Oof. more difficult yeah it is very fast uh amber it, it's 
It's very interesting. Um, and yeah, you leave your little blood splatters behind, uh, which is kind of neat because you can kind of see what you did before you sure. died. So you can know not to do that again. Oh my god. My problem is I have gotten used to holding down the run button, uh, which is kind of causing me to jump a little bit too far. So there I decided not to. Meat girl, you got her. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Uh -huh, I, no. I don't do super great on this level. I don't know. You want to go straight for the middle and then jump all the way across. Right. That'll work too, I guess. Well, <laughs> not the way I decided. You decided to quit. So th no, I, I decided to see if there was uh, something in the menu, and that's where I found out about the, the ability to switch characters. But Are you I, for, like, easy mode? Do you want funky mode? Is that what I, you're looking for? Yeah, kinda. You wanna be funky? I wanted to see... I actually was wondering if I could change characters. Because I wanted funky. to see if, if I could find a... Uh, Suitable meat substitute. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Super vegan boy. Nikki is in uh, the chat room, and Nikki uh, really dislikes the blood being left behind. It's pretty gross. It is a little, a little gross. I mean, uh, I'm just kind of pretending you're a Splatoon. Thanks. Yeah. It's just me leaving behind some of my meat residue. Uh-huh, yeah, meat residue. That's normal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whenever I leave behind my my my, my meat residue, yeah, I uh, get banned from the building. So it, absolutely, yeah. This guy is a hero. Ridiculous. He is. That was cool. Good. Thank good you. Slide there, pal. Thank you. This looks tricky. Oh. Yeah. Must be patient. Oh no. I got it. Got A plus. I don't agree with that, but okay. Yeah. So which came first, this or I want to be the guy? Uh, I think I want to be the guy came first. And th this has got to take some kind of inspiration from that, I feel. Probably. I was wrong. I think I am trying to get the uh, the bandage there. Where's the bandage? It's at the very top, right next to the bus saw. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I saw it. Okay. There we go. I, I made it. That's Look tricky. at that. Go. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Me. I got it. Ah. Oh, you can't jump here. I did it, though. I made it. Oh, woof. All right. Here's the boss fight. Okay. All right. Finally, some plot. Yeah. That's what this meat-based game was missing. So wait, is that the fetus? That's the fetus inside of like a robot body, I think. And he uh -huh. has decided to burn down the forest, and then chase me in his uh, his chainsaw mech. Sure. Doctor Robotnik-looking motherfucker. Right. So uh, I will be honest. Uh, I do very poorly on this boss fight. I can tell already. Yeah. Uh, I do not do very well. It seems like this seems to be a major ramp up from what had just occurred. Absolutely, yeah. And this is also, like, where any editing in the video comes from. <laughs> sure. Because uh, everything else was unedited from the beginning. Uh, we will do some editing here, because I play this boss fight for about 15 minutes. So, are there checkpoints? The no, there are not. Uh, yeah, you have to start over every single time. Because uh, like this is not a game that I feel is conducive to um, sort of twitch reactions. Right. No, what this are these fucking things flying everywhere. This, uh, those are uh, I think rabbits Rolls? trying to escape or something. Yeah. So there we go. I had cut. I cut out about fifteen minutes. Of, oh, that wasn't so bad, though. Of uh, of failure, uh, but I finally got there, and like so. 
This game does not real is not really con uh, conducive to twitchy movements. This game it really kind of feels built for the person who memorizes the game. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, for sure. Yeah, so just getting your muscle memory down for every level, um, which makes it a, a great candidate for speedrunning. Uh, but it's not definitely a not a chill for game. Casual play, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Fetus is angry. And this squirrel is very upset about all of his dead friends, which this is maybe the most fucked up part of the game so far. Oh, Just man. piles was, of dead squirrels. That was edgy when he killed the squirrel. Yeah. So uh, now I'm going to this hospital. I wanted to just see what the next level looked like, at least. I have a terrible confession. Yeah? I hate this art style. Well, that's fair. I, I, I'm not necessarily a super big fan of it. Yeah, I mean, like, the game art style, like, in-game right here, this is fine. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, the like, like 2001 uh, Newgrounds, Newgrounds cutscene. This was yeah. made by Newgrounds, so... Yeah. And that's, uh, that's it. Um, not, not much else to it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. I, I, I definitely don't feel compelled to beat the game, like go back and replay it over and over and over again. Sure. Um, it again, feels very like you need to memorize the best thing to do. Um, it, it yeah, so it's fun, but you know, pick it up on sale or something. I think I got it in a humble bundle. Uh, it, it would be great to watch done on like AGDQ or something, uh, which I have seen some of it played there before, um, blindfolded and whatnot. Uh, and I can't imagine playing that game blindfolded. Uh, so yeah. Right so on. yeah, that's it. Uh, Matt, what did you? So play? we actually have a secondary theme here today. Yeah. Um, because you played Super Meat Boy, which is created by, uh, d designed by Edmund McMillan. Yeah. Um, he also designed the game that I played. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, the, the Binding of Isaac. That makes sense from, yeah. from the art I've seen of it. Uh, Binding of Isaac is also a Newgrounds game. Um, I have never played it, even though I've heard a lot about it. Um, mostly because the art style is off-putting to me. Um, it didn't look like I would enjoy sitting through a game that looks like this. Yeah. Um, it's a weird one. It is a roguelike twin stick shooter through Zelda like dungeons. Interesting. Um, you play as a young boy slash fetus named Isaac. Okay. Um, and you play What's through the new grounds and fetuses. Right. And you play through a story based on the biblical binding of Isaac. Um, where the mother of Isaac uh, gets a message from God demanding the life of her son as proof of her faith. Okay. And uh, in the Bible, you know, she goes to kill him. And uh, in this game, Isaac decides to run away into some dungeons. Okay. Um, again, it's a roguelike, so all the dungeons are randomly generated. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it. Supposedly, this game has pretty good music, but... I'm, I'm playing on Steam. I didn't really hear much music. Okay. All so right. I'm maybe sure maybe you why. just didn't get far enough, but let, let's give it a shot. Maybe, let's watch. Maybe. Yeah. So this is Binding of Isaac. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is your starting screen. Um, you, there's a lot of unlockable characters, but we're just going to start with Isaac here. And these are your controls. Uh, I bound everything to a controller. Um, because God forbid I use a keyboard to play any game in the year 2018. So wait, so like, is there not a c controller support for it yet? Uh, supposedly there, I mean, it's got a console release, right? Yeah. But the Steam version was like, you need to use Joy to Key. Oh and man. So yeah, I there's did. like no music at all. Yeah. There's sound effects though. Yeah. There um, definitely, there definitely are. Yeah, and weird they're and gross. super weird and gross, yeah. yeah. So Isaac is crying, and your weapons are your tears. Um, He's crying oh. because his mom wants to kill him. Man. Yeah. This is the fetus episode. Right? And I... I, I, I all fetuses are... all the time. Come on down. Come on, yes. Buy a fetus. The cartridge blowers. Um, I, I said beforehand that I would find this art style off-putting. Uh, I definitely do. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think I can play a lot of this game. I, I couldn't play through this game all the way. Um, however, you know, I, I figured the game would, you know, make up for the art style based on the strength of its gameplay. Okay. So, again, we're kind of uh, going through these roguelike dungeons. Um, I found a key, and it brought me to the store uh, where I can buy two items. I don't know what they do, and I have no money anyway. So Okay. Um, I can also use my tears here to put out these fires. I don't know if that does anything, but I thought maybe they were like jars in Zelda, and I could maybe find some yeah. money. Yeah. Tears for fetus. Fears. No. no. Um, here's some more. Oh, enemies. look, it's a dookie monster. Yeah, there's a. Uh, or a they're tumor. Always, they're always getting like deformed babies. And, uh. Why do their tears blow up that guy's head? I don't. I, some of them have bombs in them. Oh, yeah, that's right. And these guys are like running away from me. It's very annoying. It feels like you shouldn't be fighting them. They don't want to be fought, they want to be left alone. Um, I will also cry on so him until he dies. <laughs> that was uh, my second grade uh, strategy for any fight. <laughs> um, oh, and then he dropped the bomb when he died. Oh, run! No, okay. Well, there's money. I got money. Thank goodness. That was a very Zelda-like sound effect. Yeah. Uh, we got two doors. One with the crown. One with the skull. Let's go with the crown. And here we got the sad, sad onion. onion. It gives us uh, doubles our fire rate. Oh, cool. So there are upgrades to your weapon. Um, however, so I want to point out the controls in this game. Okay. Um, you're supposed to play on a keyboard. WASD to move. Um, arrow keys to shoot. Okay. That sucks. That's a bad control scheme. Um, That's a twin stick shooter for you. But a twin stick shooter on a keyboard is bad. Yeah. Uh, every, every floor has a boss to fight. So here's... I'm going to fight the Duke of Flies. Um, he's pretty gross. Warning if you don't like gross. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, the, me shooting these tears out, uh, it just doesn't feel good. I don't like the way it feels. Yeah. And I, don't, I don't know any better way to describe it. Um, it I guess that a lot of this is, you know, essentially a bullet hell. In a lot of ways. Yeah. Well, um, it's not very bullet hell yet. Not yet, but I mean, it can be. And you're basically just trying to shoot and dodge, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I guess, like, a twin stick shooter without a, a controller, like, normally would be keyboard and, like, mouse, right? Where you would... uh, and I think you can use the mouse as well. Okay. But I mean, that's not something I could buy into the controller as easily. Amber That's also does not see the appeal of this game. Yeah, I jumped out of home, and oh, I love my mom. She doesn't love me. That's the story. This is a depressing game, man. Yeah, dude. It's fun for the whole family. Yeah. Uh, so now I get to explore the next dungeon, uh, next floor of the dungeon. It is randomly generated as well. This one's full of spiders, so uh, trigger warning if you don't love spiders like I do. I love spiders, um, as long as they're spiders and mans. Yeah, yeah. As long as they're fighting octopi. Yes. Uh, so like I played an uh, another um man that one has a bomb stuck in his head. Uh, I played a, a different Newgrounds game like their first major like console release, Alien Hominid. Oh yeah, that yeah. yeah. I I enjoyed Alien Hominid. Alien Hominid's alright. Yeah. I didn't love it. I thought the art style kind of was off putting again. Um, I thought it was alright. I liked it better than Meat Boy in, in this one. Honestly, the only Newgrounds game I've really loved is Castle Crashers. And I thought that game was spectacular. I haven't played Castle Crashers. Oh, it's a four-player beat-em-up. It's great. All right, on. We should do that. Holy crap, we've been, you've never played Castle Crashers? I have not. That's I should have played cheap. that, apparently. Yeah. Did he just... It's like... like thing. Yeah, they're laying eggs, right? Okay. Um, and I can shoot the egg goo... To stop the egg from spawning more baby spiders. Uh, but he's consistently laying more eggs and never stopping. Um, so eventually I realized it just seems more prudent to kill the mama spider. Though, I mean, I obviously don't want the eggs to hatch either. Yeah. And, like, it's got human toes on the end of its four legs. Gross. And, like, it's it like, does. A, like human skeleton. Bones. Yeah, like, each what? leg what? has like a single human toe. 
What is this game, and why was it drawn on the bottom of a skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> like, every single picture here seems to come from an 8th grader's notebook. Yeah. Why they're just doodling random shit. Um, and like a radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. I have no idea what that means. I'm not going to find out. I okay. decided to go back and explore the rest of the basement to maybe figure out what that might mean. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go back to rooms I haven't been to yet. And the only one I can access, since I don't have a key, uh, is all the way up top. Now, the keys seem to randomly drop. Uh, there's no guarantee you'll get a key in a floor that has key doors. Really? Yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. That sounds or... like a bug. Yeah, but we got a key, so... Let's go back. Uh, we only got one, though, so we have to select either the crown or what looks like a filing cabinet on the right. Well, I'm going to go for the crown, obviously. Ah, found this, a... Okay. An on mushroom ups my tears and my speed, so I'm a little more powerful now. I can move faster, and my tears fly out faster. Hmm. I'm going right. to go for the spike door. It took some damage, ah. and when I opened this, I got some pills. And if I eat the pill, it's a tele pill. Whoa. It teleports me to this room. There's a bunch more pills. Oh. And I also get a mirror that's called my reflection. And I don't know what that means or does, and it never tells me. I am error. Yeah, that's a result of two reference. Oh. Uh. Um, and so then I'm eating these pills, and some of them are decreasing my range stat. Uh, this says pretty fly, and now a fly is following me. I don't know what any is anything that's happening means. I don't know what's happening. I farted. Uh, I, help! Okay. Help me, game! Help me out here, guys. Right? You got I'm two flies like, though. Yeah, great. That that's got to be good. The health down pill. I don't want that. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, it seems like I've warped though. I am now in the caves instead of in the basement. Um, okay. the caves is a different level. We'll skip ahead, because uh, it's just a lot of fighting random enemies. This door was locked before, and now it's not. So I'm like, okay, well, let's go in and find this chest. You need a key. I need a key. Well, guess what? No I've, been in every, I've been in every room in this dungeon. No key. That's a problem. I, I, like, is, is this a feature? No, no way. <laughs> that sounds like, I, I don't know. Um, I'm just gonna come out and go. Go ahead and come out and say it. Um, I don't like this game at all. I think it's pretty bad, and um, I don't like when we talk about games that I don't like that the the masses does. Yeah. Um, a good, a good, the, the number one pick is definitely Super Metroid, right? Yeah. Um, I get what people see in that though. Like, right. I understand the appeal. I understand what there is to like about it. It's just not for me. I don't I understand. I don't understand the appeal of this. I think I would understand it if it was just a flash game on a web page and not something sure. you spent money on. It was a flash game on the web page, and it was the year two thousand and four. Well, yeah. This came out in I think oh nine. Capitalist Pig says that uh, you definitely somehow turned the sound all the way down. There should definitely be music. And maybe some music would add to it, but I, I think the gameplay kind of sucks. I just, I don't think playing this game feels fun. Um, this boss fight is... I don't get the aesthetic. It's just, so there's a scrub, and he'll kind of um, do a snake lunge all the way across. And I can use that to kill his minions. So there's kind of a strategy involved there in which I make him lunge at his own babies. <laughs> but like uh, it's, it's kind of a hard thing to consistently do and is barely worth it when I should just be focused on shooting him and not getting hit right um, which is really not that difficult uh, his mouth hitbox seems pretty small like there I definitely should have been hit I feel um, and like he takes so much health he's just a big sponge but maybe I'm supposed to be stronger by this point but I randomly warped Right, yeah. He doesn't really seem to be difficult. No. His minions are almost more difficult than he is. Um, but it was, it was like, as I'm playing this boss fight, and I, I realized it before, I was just like, I'm not having fun. 
I yeah. am not having fun with this game. Um, and so, yeah, Binding of Isaac, I just don't see it. It seems gross for the sake of being gross. Um, there doesn't seem to be any cool message behind it. Um, maybe there is, and I'm missing it. Um, the gameplay is boring. Um, and I mean, maybe I'm going to go listen to the music when this is done. Yeah. I, I, I'm sure the soundtrack adds to it. Um, but I don't, I don't like, you could give me the fucking London Philharmonic playing the most beautiful song I've ever heard. And that's not going to make that game fun to play. Yeah, uh, definitely, and, and I, that does not look like something I would want to play. Like I would, like, I would, like Meat I would Boy shoot. Looked a lot more fun. Meat Boy was was at least fun. Uh, yeah. Like it was not a bad experience to play it. That game looked pretty boring. It's boring. Yeah. yeah, like it's not even actively bad. Like some kind of you know Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde NES game or something. Right. It's just like. This is not. I mean, it's a it's a it's a video game. It's serviceable, but like, I I wouldn't tell anyone to play that, and I wouldn't play more than I played. I'm never gonna go back to that. Yeah, yeah. It's that that is, I would say, the definition of an overhyped game because I hear nothing but praise for it. It got like nine out of ten reviews. Um, I don't. I'm I'm my mind is boggled. This hot game. take here on cartridge blowers. Like, is it a hot take? I, I I don't want it to be a hot take. I just I just don't think it's good. But I guess because I'm I'm wrong, <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot take. I don't know. I mean, may, maybe you just maybe you just didn't play it far enough. Maybe, maybe it gets better. Maybe. Like Capitalist Pig says, it definitely uh, it gets harder down the line. Sure. So maybe there's that. Um, um, but I mean, like, okay, so. And again, I'm playing with a controller using Joy to Key in order to actually have twin stick shooting, right? But the game is set up for a keyboard, right? And so having up, down, left, right on a on the right stick of my Xbox controller feels stilted. It right. feels not great, and it, so it seems like adding controller support to that game should not be hard. Well, it's not even that, though, because this game's been released on consoles, right? Yeah. It's on PS4, it's on Switch, it's right. on everything exactly. else. So Which I'm is... not really sure why the Steam version doesn't have controller support naturally. Yeah, well, like I said, one of the, that's kind of what I meant was maybe it came out before everyone was playing games on their computer with, with game pads. Uh, but it seems like if you've released it with game pad support for a console... Seems like a fair upgrade. Like, why couldn't you just patch that in? Right. That seems kind of like a no-brainer. And it's a game that's re received like lots and lots of patches and DLCs and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, that's certainly not out of the question. I don't know. I... Like it's just kind of gross visually. Um, it's it's the gameplay at least something to be desired. Um, I don't think the most killer soundtrack in the world could save it. So even though the music was not working for whatever reason, I I don't think it would have changed things for me. I'm not a fan. Zero out of ten. That's our review. Thanks for watching X Play. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> next week. <laughs> I'm Adam Sessler. That's Morgan Webb, I think. Right? Say hi, Morgan. Hi, I'm Morgan. Hi. <laughs> 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 anyway, so uh, right on. So um, that that's that's our show, really, everybody. Uh, but before we go ahead and bow out for the evening, what are we playing next time, Matt? Okay, so I think we've done this theme before. Okay, I don't remember how difficult it was to do this theme. Oh, so no. we're gonna add some rules to it okay. to make it doable. So the theme is board games slash game shows. Okay. Um, but let's just kind of expand that to involve anything that possibly has a board game mechanic. We might have done this last time. Uh, I, um, I, I think we did because I think I played Pac-Man Fever. And I think was... I played Sonic Shuffle. Yeah, yeah. Um, so like if you want to play, um, like, but let's say anything remotely related to board games. So if you want to play Jumanji. Okay, all right. Well, what about that uh, Kingdom Hearts DS game where you fight with cards? Hell yeah, that'll work. All right, I'll take cool. it. Card, card games too, yeah, baby. Let's play Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm ready to duel. Let's all right. do it. 
Um, if you want to play the Monopoly Man 2D side scroller, uh, which is, by the way, not real but exists in my perfect world, um, <laughs> you can definitely do that. But uh, yeah, so board slash card slash game shows. Excellent. Right on. That's what you have to look forward to in the next two weeks. But until then, this has been Cartridge Blowers. I'm Cody Coleman. With me, as always, is Matt Krua. That's me. And next time, I'm sure we'll have Nikki back. But until then... No one puts Nikki in a corner. Huh? No one puts Nikki in a corner. No, never. She'll, she'll be back. Box she'll, she'll break out of the box. She'll, she'll live again. But until then, <laughs> this has been Cartridge Blowers. And please don't die. But Matt, what should they do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what's coming to me? They should keep on. It's blowing. It's blowing. It's, okay. It's, that's that's our bad catchphrase. Yeah. It's it, for some reason we've kept up with it for uh, 132 episodes. episodes. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, right on. Okay, guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs>